Yeah, so we're talking about what? Your co hostess with the most self. Your authentic self. So there was a reason why I asked the live um, participants to pay attention to your facial expressions because y you, your face can't hold water. <laughs> it tells everything. <laughs> and I know yes. this because I know you. And my face is the same way. We don't even realize our face is like saying what we're thinking. I mean, you know, it's not personal. But um, the reason why I said to you, let's do this, and I have a surprise for you, because right about now, you all may not know this, but this is not my authentic self. <laughs> <laughs> I feel surprise. so uncomfortable. What? I'm surprised, and I've known her my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> so can you expound on that? Tell us more I will. about it. So okay. um, when when we were speaking earlier and you we were talking about our authentic self and how to be that and how to be that without being hurtful. So um, I thought about, you know, how we've done over the years. You know, if, if we come out of the house and we look a hot mess, we have no problem with saying to each other, okay, that might not work too well for you. Some people don't have that courage or they don't have the ability to, to do it tactfully. And what you want to do is you want to be your authentic self and, and you want to, to help others to be their authentic self, but you don't want to do it in a way that's hurtful or damaging. Uh, because you can really, really push someone way back and they'll be on a plume ride to hell feeling some type of way about themselves um, because they don't, they lack the confidence in the first place. So having said all that, um, I deliberately came on as not my authentic self. This is not me. For some of you, this is normal. Um, but my niece knows I love eyelashes. I try to wear them. I'm such a tomboy. I've never really gotten the knack of how to put them on. <clears throat> and so I feel very uncomfortable. I think they look nice on other people. And some people do go a little bit on the deep end and they look like, you know, caterpillars, but that's okay. You don't need to tell them that. Now, it's okay. for, if they want a this, caterpillar, they can have a caterpillar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in this instance, my niece, would say, um, oh, so you're trying something new, huh? <laughs> That's a nice way to put it, yeah. That's a nice way to put it. And then if I said, well, yeah, I was trying, and then she said, well, you know, it, it looks like it's coming up on the edge just a little bit. Maybe we could take some glue and put it back down. And other people would not be comfortable with that. Me, I would, you know. But you have to learn how to help each other, especially us women, because we can really be mean. We can really be mean to each other. And, and there's no the need for that. What's the same mean girls? Right. And geeky, girls are, geeky girls are not mean. Geeky girls are geeky. And, and tactful. And tactful, <laughs> yes. So if someone is not presenting themselves as well as you know that they could or even if you don't know that person you know there's no harm in being tactful in helping them out and some people will really really appreciate this they will really say oh my god you know for example i was once out at a club eons ago because i'm too old to club now i'm somebody's grandmama hopefully soon people let her walk all the way across the floor and no one stopped her. She would have been walking all around the club with that toilet paper. You know what I mean? That's embarrassing. I yes. slid over to her tactfully and said, you've got a little friend that came out of the bathroom with you. Turn around and let's fix it. And I helped her. And she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Nobody even said anything. No. But we will. 
And, I and you know what? I can appreciate people like that. You know, the whole point in that story is uh, most of the time, people really do appreciate your authentic self mm -hmm. when you're being helpful, encouraging, uplifting, uh, blah, blah, blah. Not being mean and nasty and, oh, she shouldn't have worn that, blah, blah, blah. You know, now, maybe these eyelashes look okay to you. <laughs> and I've got matching earrings to go with my lipstick. Now, my niece knows I would never do this. No. But never. You, you raised the question because where I am like you, and I will tell somebody, you know, uh, if I saw tissue on their shoe, as an example that you gave, I would tell them um, if I saw somebody's and their hair was out of place, I would say something. Um, another one, 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 another one. I would say something, you know, I just try to say all the things that I would think somebody would say to me. Um, I would hope if they I looked, would. that I hope they'd say to me if I was just a little, you know, if okay. I didn't come out and I didn't look unkept. Okay. So there's a comment hey, that said, yes, but who tells others about the boogers? I do. <laughs> I've done that. I've done it to I a coworker. To. I just handed them a tissue and said, you know, you got a little something hanging out waving. I mean, there's a way to put a comic twist on it so that the person feels less embarrassed. Yeah. You're not going to be able to eliminate total embarrassment. There's going to be a little bit. But in the end, they'll be happy that you didn't let them walk around with, you know, yay booger hanging out of the nose, waving. So, yes, yeah. I would say that. That's my yeah. authentic self because I, I don't want, I wouldn't want somebody to let me walk around like that. Not that I, I'd rather somebody tell me, you know, if you're one of the people who would rather somebody tell you, just put a one in the chat while we're talking. And if you don't want anybody to tell you, put a two. So I'll know who I'm dealing with in this audience, but I'm the same. I would prefer somebody to tell, uh, I would rather somebody tell me than let something hang out. I've also done that where I've seen somebody with something in their nose and I'm just like, you know, I kind of just gave them emotion like, you know, just to let them know that they had something there or something. Was yeah. Place. I mean, if you're uncomfortable with actually saying it, you can give them a notion and say, hey, you know, or, yeah. you know, and they're going to be like, oh, snap, you know, dang. right. Thank you. Right. Instead I'm like, thank you. walk around like that all day long. Exactly. Because while I was out here being my authentic self one time, I had something on my face and nobody told me. And I got home and it was like, I don't know what it was. I think it was some tissue because maybe I was wiping my face with a tissue or something. Right. And I saw, you know how it's those little crumbles that you get on your face? Yeah. And I, I call I, them dingleberries. <laughs> dingleberries. <laughs> you made me think about something else. You know what we call dingleberries. dingleberries. Too. <laughs> yeah. Dingleberries. You know, those ones that hang under your arm. arm. <laughs> yeah. The, those. Yeah. But that's just one point of being your authentic self. And since we're talking about authentic self, um, I can't take this anymore. So I <laughs> need to be my authentic self. And this is not her. So. I'm sorry. Something is happening where I hear. What do you hear? One of my videos is playing in my, in my, <laughs> my. I don't. Okay. It. it just stopped. Yeah, it, one of my old videos, you all, I'm sorry, I know I, my face probably told you there was an issue, but while you were talking, it just started playing. I'm not even sure where it came from, but maybe I needed to hear it, but since we're on that topic. So yeah. My I, authentic I, self. There we are. <laughs> Your authentic self. Now how about, okay, so you said something about people being their authentic self and you know, saying it properly, like you can still be your authentic self and relay the message in a way that's um, acceptable for that other person to receive it. So do you think that that person is not being fully authentic if they temper their words? No, oh, I, I, Thank you, I, I don't think that a person is not being authentic. 
um, because we are not one dimensional people. People are not one dimensional is what I'm saying. Um, people are three dimensional, multi dimensional. You know, there's a you that you present to your children. And there's a you that you present to me. There's a you that you present to your sister, your mom, your your colleagues. But they're all you. Mm -hmm. Not not authentic. They are you. They're yeah. just the many facets that you display when you're in certain environments. So that doesn't mean you're being phony. It just means you're adjusting. That made me think about something, too, because you know how sometimes people will say they can turn it off and on. And some of you know what I mean by turn it off and on. So <laughs> when you're doing that, you still are being your authentic self. Maybe you're just. You OK, so you temper your words depending on the environment you're in. You may not act. Um, well, I wouldn't act the same way with you that I might act with my pastor. <laughs> pastor. I mean, Maybe not, perhaps. I mean, let's be honest. We're not going to say and behave the same way uh, with our friends, quote unquote, as we would say and behave with the president of the United States or our pastor. You know, you're going to have a, a, a different engagement with those people because, I mean, various reasons title respect uh i mean you comfortability know. exactly yeah so if i'm into i may interact with 10 differently than i interact with you why because you're my aunt i can completely be myself um around you i feel no. one second however <laughs> and, if you are not being your authentic self in said situations for example if you met the president of the United States and you said, hello, President Biden, nice to meet you. It's an honor, sir. That's your authentic self, as opposed to, hello, President O'Biden. <laughs> I mean, that's not your authentic self. It's a flimsy example, but that's not your authentic self. How long can you keep up that facade? Hmm. Mm hmm. I see where you're going with that one. Yeah. Because yeah, because in different environments, there are different environments that require you to act a certain way. Exactly. So we all know that. So it's called protocol. Protocol. That's right. Very good word. <laughs> protocol. So I I'm I'm trying to think of something else to ask you about authenticity because we've had so many of these conversations that I feel like I'm just being repetitive, but for the sake of no, <laughs> having it's it here, okay. I I like authenticity, but I also like non-authenticity, which is why I'm in the business that I'm in <laughs> of doing voiceovers, because I get to be somebody else, even if it's only for three minutes. You get to be somebody else and do yeah. Oh. <laughs> we have another co-host, I see. Another and guest. she is being her authentic self. Hi. Definitely hello. her authentic self. They say, everyone says hello. <laughs> now that is authenticity, which brings me to a child. Kids are authentically themselves, probably in almost every situation, aren't they? They are. And um, when you become an adult, sometimes... Hi! It, bye! It, it, bye! It, sometimes it is, um, it's a blessing in disguise or um, it's an asset is what I want to say. If you're an adult and you can still at times when necessary, become childlike, you know, and I say that <laughs> because children are open. The older we get, the more closed minded we get because of our experiences and, you know, somebody's hurt us and we carry those scars. Children have less of those scars for the most part, mm -hmm. unless they're in extreme abusive situations, which is a whole nother topic. But um, yeah, yeah, Dave Chappelle, Chappelle's keeping kid, yeah. it real. Keep real. <laughs> we all and know when about keeping it real goes real wrong. goes wrong. Yeah, so thank you again for coming in. Bye. I'll chat with you later.
Bye, everybody. Thank you for coming in. We will see you in the next Connect and Chat. Uh, it's going to be random again, so um, keep your notifications on and share this out with somebody who you think can use it. All right. I'll see you all later. Bye. 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 bye.